All right, Steve Van Rokel uh, on Meeks Trail. Um, Steve has a four ton, 100,000 BTU CP9 with a single uh, speed AC um, that we're going to replace. Just the AC. Uh, it is two zones. It's got a bypass steam humidifier. Um, we're going to be replacing it. Uh, originally thought with the CC17, I kind of goofed up the order, which I'm going to fix. Um, but we're going to do an AC19. Um, so it'll be a C cabinet. Originally thought it was going to be a D cabinet. Should be pretty easy, like for like swap. Uh, I don't have to worry about anything up there. Cabinet is the same size. Just look at your piping here. Seven eighths line set is going into the crawl. Um, I believe this is the AC. It's the only thing that's not marked. Check the sub panel in the garage and it is not marked with anything. Siemens box. There's the furnace panel or furnace breaker. It's 15. There's nothing in this one. As you can see. Yeah, like I said, I checked this sub panel in the garage, so that has to be a 35 amp. Not doing anything with thermostats or anything like that. AC probably easiest through here. The only thing I don't know. Well, oh, yeah, that can be moved. I didn't realize, know if that was cabinets or not. This should be wide enough to bring the AC in. If not, um, it's not a terrible dolly to get over here. Now, AC is right here. The new unit's a good bit bigger. There is, this is louvered. So clearance is okay. It's 44 inches from here to the wall. The caveat to that is, is this is only 33 and a half inches wide. So I will figure out with Steve what I envision is um, these are just put in with two carpenter nails and they're reasonably loose. So I'm envisioning either having him pop these boards off or I'll volunteer to come out and do it. Um, since I didn't catch that yesterday, we were short on time. We were talking about the unit and I wasn't able to measure before I got pricing to him. So if he's okay with that, then it should be a reasonable fix. And then that way you can just take it right through here and without having to take this whole thing apart. There's your disconnect, it's offset. The line set comes up out of the ground, or not out of the ground, out of the um, crawl vent. So, but once we figure that out, it should be pretty straightforward. Steve Van Rokel on Meeks Trail in Bend.